What's going on everybody? It's Fry. So today we are doing the Electric Boogaloo Binary 22 deck. Sort of built this deck around the concept. Uh, is if you have uh, Area 22 on the field and you play Binary Stars into it, this comes a 5-5. Really does 10 damage to face. Sort of an OTK. Uh, running just some really... Every single card is like a must-answer card. Really strong. Gonna try to play this deck a little reactively. Actually tested one game with this uh on stream before the video started uh we are running cheese cutter again must answer carter else it's gonna start conjuring these little um dudes so running bungee plumber you also have a couple of lightning bolts and maybe evaporate inside the kit over here uh running frady cat so if they're removing your you know cards that you're playing with tricks and the frady cat will punish them making it sort of a must answer card too same thing with con man just a lot of health great turn one play uh, it's going to do a lot of damage to their own answer. And the aerobics is going to go crazy. Now, I'm not. you don't need aerobics to have Dancing Synergy. It happens to be it has a little bit. Two other dancing cards. I'm not going to start putting Disco Knot in the deck with only one health. It just makes it just a card that's too easy to answer. Uh, Loudmouth, though. If you play aerobics on two, you can then play Loudmouth on turn three. And again, this allows you to play reactively. Every once in a while, we're going to be playing aerobics on two. Um, but, you know, just for that one turn, really depends what hero you're against. Against Kabloom Heroes, that becomes worse. But if you can play, you know, spam Con Man, which is difficult to remove, and then a one drop plus either Bungie or Lightning Bolt on two, and then same thing with either Aerobics plus a Trick, or you're able to play Quasar, where it gives you a superpower, and actually react to the opponents. Um, it definitely gives you an advantage as a zombie. You don't want to be falling into the trap, even if you're running a lot of powerful cards, just using every single brain on your minions and then not being able to react to what your opponent plays and letting them fully react to you. Uh, Loudmouth is a very good card to play uh, on turn 3 because it allows you to play reactively. Whatever lane needs that 2-2 buff you can give it, can also give it to itself, so it's not a liability in that way. Uh, you're, we should be developing pretty decent tempo. That's the reason why I actually like Quasar is that it at least puts a body on the board. And then you can use Area 22 again to give a buff and Frenzy, which does a lot of damage. And the Binary Star should be coming in usually with a field that at least has something on it. Uh, can very often have two or three cards, which makes this just insane because everything is going to be going face really, really hard. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the games. And uh, yeah, just a nice old Boogaloo classic kind of tempo deck. Really like the way this deck is built. I really, again, like uh, aerobics if you play it on 2 and you play the loudmouth on 3, you can buff the aerobics into a 4-5, and then the loudmouth, which is a sad 1-1, one, one, actually turns into a 3-1 since it's a dancing card, so only Boogaloo can do that combo since loudmouth is a beastly card, but I'd love to do that, so definitely want to bring that combo back. If you think this deck will go 8 wins out of 10, vote yes, 7 and 3 or fewer vote no over here at the live stream twitch.tv forward slash from up. I did a test game for the stream because the servers have been funny. It's November 2nd. Apparently there was some maintenance, but I'm actually happy I did because it really got me into the mindset of play reactively. Don't go all in. Like if one, think of this as my two. Maybe I'll even play this on one. That's what I get. And then three, four, we'll hopefully get something to curve that out. So I didn't get Lightning Bolt, so I'm going to spam this here. Uh, since it's a Solar Hero, I'm not going to play into Colonel Bolt. I'll play it on ground. Scorch is not as bad, obviously. Hello. Probably, did you like Call of Duty? I've never played Call of Duty, actually. Uh, a roll, so it's obviously just gonna be you. What did he chomp that? So annoying. He's gonna have to at least play around our lightning bolt here, which is cool. So evaporates an option. Off to a really bad start because we started with evaporate power and no bungee plumber. Maybe I should have mulliganed harder for in case we get bad superpowers. I'll try to keep that in mind for future games. This should be an okay trade, though. Alright, we are... off to the races here. This loudmouth could be okay. We could even just go loudmouth and, um, cheese cutter. Looks really good. 
Again, the 1-1 one, one is great to counter the 2-1. The 3-3 three, three is also fine, and then being able to buff. It's just so hard for the opponent to deal with this now. So I'll probably just buff the... the I'll buff self just to trade with us. It gets rid of value. This is, you know, drawing anyway. Too bad I didn't go for evaporate there. That would be good. Corv. You know, but now this is we're just approaching turn five, and we've got this nice field, man. This is a decent time to develop the binary stars. No answer to gravestones. I wonder if I just do that. I think I will. He can't really take advantage of this because we have, you know, four, six, so much damage on the field. That's okay. Um, we don't actually win the tray, but again, we get six and block here. Nothing he can really do about the three, three here either. Love it. I have six damage. It's huge. It's like a trickster. Yeah, we can evaporate. We'll play for that next turn. I kind of like the Corv here. I'm going to go Corv. I'll go Loudmouth. And we'll either Fruitcake or Evaporate. That's what he does. But it's just so much damage from plant food. It's okay. So we'll play for... I guess we'll just plant food. Or we'll just Fruitcake, I mean. We'll let him take the three. Thank you, Pixel Gamer, for two months. Unfortunately, we still haven't used the Evaporate. We've had opportunities, but it just kind of never really worked with our curve. Maybe I should have done Evaporate there and had a 1-1. One -one. Alright, well, we're just emptying our hands, and hopefully we'll get something that does damage here. Ugh, it's the worst superpower. Literally the worst one we could have got. This card needs to draw a card so bad. But we have a lot of pressure on this guy. Got the double here. I might as well heal. We'll just uh, evaporate this next turn. Just need the card that comes from evaporate. We got three plus two, so he either has Scorch or... Did he use Holo Flora? I'm not paying attention. If he gets Holo Flora, he loses. I think he has Scorch and Holo... Oh, he has Chomp? How did he remove the... How did he... Oh, he played Click P, right? Sorry, Space. That dies. We'll do that next turn. Maybe I should do it now. Now we have to evaporate it. Have to, have to. Should I play around plant food and not play this here? Fry, did you see how expensive Overwatch 2 skins are? Their marketing strategy is also literally illegal. <laughs> Guys, it's a free game. It's a free game. <laughs> People are complaining so much. And it's an amazing game. Controversial opinion. Overwatch 2 is a great game, guys. I've been having so much fun with it. Uh, we win. Sleep. Try to see the good in things. I don't know, man. Great game. We ever play Marvel Snap again? Uh, I don't know. All I know is what I'm doing today. I'm not playing it today. Streaming. Made a video. Dealt with a couple other things today. I'm possibly going grocery shopping. I'm going to spend some time with my kids. I'm going to go swimming for like 45 minutes. And then I'm going to chill because I'm exhausted. That's my schedule, you guys. Pretty good first game here. Yeah. 
This is fine though, because if we get a terrible superpower, we can just go 2-3. I wonder if I should just do Well, it gives us an option. And this will be fine later. Let's go with this one. What video did I make? I posted on Prime Up Gaming. It was the video about orchestra conductor strike through. <laughs> Bruh. It's plural now. There's two baby fries. I got many children. Oh man. Good. We'll go lightning bolts and go from there. Do I lightning it now? Don't think so. It just doesn't. allows us not to play off her. I mean, we can play Quasar. I'd rather just play aerobics and. And go from there. It's gonna be a Robix Lightning Boy here. It's probably should have gone here. We kind of want to save the right more lanes for binary. Wow, that screws us because now we don't have a minion for Quasar. Hopefully, we'll top deck exactly a one drop. That's not good. So we set up area here for lack of a better play. Fry has 200 children, yeah, all in the chat too. Can we get a playable minion, please? Please, yes. Oh, we got <laughs> lightning bolts. I love it. Costco or IGI I shop usually at a place called Freshco. They have very good, uh, very good. Uh, what's it called? Like meat products, they have a butcher on a butcher shop on site, and it's usually a lot fresher than other stores. And they have just very good. Uh... <laughs> Lazarus has like ten kids. Like literally, I'm not. It's not like he has six, and I'm saying ten. He literally has ten. Eleven now? Are we up to ten or eleven? Bruh. <laughs> Why did he? Oh my gosh. The fruitcake is real! Why is okay? That's so weird. Good fruitcake though, that's how you do it. Yes! Prevents all the damage, prevents the type of... That's one cost leftovers, love to see it. Absolutely lovely. Question is, should I go for this? I think we have to go for, uh... We'll go for Quasar here. If I get the guy, it would be nice. We have a bunch of superpowers, we'll... Play them liberally. We'll play this then on seven and play another superpower. We'll save something for that. Bruh. Why? <laughs> Come on, man. Why is he not going after my card that's drawing stuff, though? Very strange. I'm gonna rock wall one of these. Which one should it be, though? I guess this one. I'm spending a lot of cards there. We're getting another one, then. Free lunch. I'll take it. Where's binary stairs? There it is. I'll go for binary. That's better. These lightning bolts do six damage, and again, Chomzilla just can't deal with binary. Squash is fine. So we don't actually capitalize. I'm just gonna go for the damage then. That's eight. Please don't block. Yes! Now this gas giant will more or less just put him away. Uh, his super does hit our binary here, so. Hello, Frank. Was, was buffing you? the binary, they would have both been at four, so they wouldn't have saved it. That's actually better, because now his chomp doesn't do quite as much. That's a really good play, though, man. This is either going face for seven or he kills it. He goes face for five, and we bungee him in the face. Look, we're at 20 health. We are do have card disadvantage, so the 
you know, we maintained the tempo game to get enough damage. Don't really have much card draw in this deck, it's just Quasar. And, uh, but we're just going to be maintaining tempo until, you know, round turn 6-7s is where we are. I guess we're on turn 8 now. Uh, it's, they're just going to be in situations where they're, they're just dead, you know. He can't even kill, he can't even kill. Even if it's like, you know, another squash or something, it's just not going to do anything. Is Smelly Zombie necessarily a bad card? I think Smelly Zombie is a decent card, especially because, you know, if there is a meta in this game on the plant side, it's Triceratops, and it's a pretty decent card to play on turn three if they play Triceratops in two. It's a little expensive, you know. That is. Oh, sorry, he has. Oh, he healed them. Oh, we still have the bundle to him. I was like, how did he have nine health? Did I do my math wrong? And like, no, he had seven. Yes! Yes! Is Quasar too unreliable to be good? Again, there's cards you can get, like Evaporate, that some is very unreliable, and the heal. We got heroic health already today from Quasar, but really, most of the superpowers, I'd say 80%, are very, very good. There's so many lightning bolts, and even Rockwall, you know, the, the, the frenzy superpower. The guy. There's just so many, like, game-changing cards. Not to count all of HG superpowers, which are so good. So, I, I found that, again, the decks that I run Quasar in, which are more like, you know, Valtrickster Hybrid and Trick Mech, and then these Boogaloo and Infinity decks, uh, I, I, I find it's usually... It's usually, like, the card when it's coming, you know, late in games, turn 5, 6, 7, and it's like, I just want to top deck a Quasar always, and... I feel like paying attention to what you want kind of can give you a pretty good sense of what is good in this game. I'm gonna play maybe aerobics on heights here. We're not we're playing on curve, but that's okay, especially against grass knuckles. I really would actually love to have a lot. I wonder if I should have mulliganed these. You're right, to be able to lightning bolt on turn two against the Triceratops. Maybe I should have thought of that. Really, Triceratops against Aerobics Instructor. The Aerobics is arguably better. Even though it doesn't gain health, the amount of attack it does when you don't deal with it on turn two is just ridiculous. If I get a one drop, I might go for it here. Well, I could do this. It's not terrible. Alright, I'm gonna play reactively. Hopefully it doesn't play a Forget-Me-Nuts plus another card here. So that'll count to this play. I, I don't think this is important enough to have to keep, so I'm gonna just get rid of this and play. Save the Lightning Bolt, which is the more powerful card. Uh, and I'll play together with this next. Nice. We'll play into Spike Weed Sector here, just why the hell not? Doesn't kill it. You're the only source of my happiness. Oh, really? That one, baby. You're very sweet. Thank you. Thanks for being a sweetheart. So, Lightning Bolt coming in really good here. If that's all he does, hopefully that is all he does. Don't play a second forget me now, so ugh. we'd be done. We'd literally, we'd, we wouldn't have a way back into this game if he plays forget me nuts here. Have we seen a superpower? We have no idea what he has, right? I just wonder if I'm supposed to be playing. We don't really want this in the area 22 anyway. I'm gonna play this here. And go for the area. It was a joke. Oh, okay. It's hard to tell via text if people are joking sometimes, you know? It's all kinds of people coming. Coming around to the stream. He's got the shit. But that puts us on ground, so it just makes us better, man. Yes! The punish! 
The punish! That was the only answer he had to a 4-3 there. And look at this now, it's going up to 5. You don't really like this necessarily in Area 22, but because he plays a trick and it leaves, but it, it's still fine. It grows when it leaves. It's getting the damage in the meantime. It's fine, guys. Um, so I'm gonna... I must have, might as well Quasar first. That's an environment. That's cool. Alright, we'll go for one of these. Either should be just fine on turn 5. If he plays Gatling, he loses. <laughs> He's mall killing us. I don't know. So I forget the equation. But that actually costs 3. Because that was the first one he played. So he plays it, it goes to 2. And then he played the second click P. Which made the 1 on the field go to 3. And actually goes to 4 now. Rough. Got Star Slur. I wonder if I should fruitcake that. He rumbles. Uh, now I'm actually gonna just use the environment, I think. <laughs> Do I just fruitcake it? Oh, I hate how this one dies. Uh, that order really, really was screwy. I don't like him gaining the card. So we're just kind of all in right now. I wonder if I should have fruitcake this one though. Got this card disadvantage. That's really annoying. Okay. Hello. So many f click peas, bro. Where did he get Molokal from? Did he play like a photosynthesizer? I don't even remember where he got that from. Man. So I'm gonna not fruitcake because of all the buffs and stuff. Doesn't seem to be running environments. I just need a minion, man. I need a minion, man. I think this is worth it because it's a 50% chance of getting three damage here, which is really good. Can't really play his superpowers either. I guess punished so hard for that. I just made a Piano Man reference. I don't know if any of you guys caught it. But we got our. Sorry, it was more. It was a two out of. It was more than fifty percent chance. Two out of three chance. This now sets us up in a position where we can win. The bungee can go face face here two and three. So there's a lot of options here since we have three attack minions in the field. Here's plant food. Uh, And we have plenty of leeway. The Bunchy to face usually just wins here. Should I fruitcake in case we California roll? I can also sit here for a second and make him concede. Uh, we're taking nine. Yeah, I think I have to do this. In case we don't block, I'll just put a minion here and we'll, that we'll be able to do two damage next turn. No, I've got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Nice beating a Grass Knuckles, who has like four click peas. Sheesh. I don't really have much else. What's better, Bungie or Berry Blast? It's, it's hard to compare a zombie card with a plant card, in general. I'd say they're basically used more or less the same amount. Maybe Berry Blast is used more. I don't know. Berry Blast feels kind of auto-include. I'd say they're about the same. Obviously, it depends on the scenario. So we go one, two, three. Uh, hopefully, we get the good. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely play this. It's better against Solar Flare. It also can set up Evaporate a lot better than a two-two. A one-three damages things and makes them live more often. He goes face with that. Interesting. Are we three and zero now? Na, 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 na. Did I miss a win? We played against... The first game, the test game didn't count. That was against Solar Flare. So we played against... Chompzilla. 
Two Chumpsils and Aggressiveness. We're three now, right? Wait. I'm confused. Don't confuse me. Played against the Chumpzilla. And then we played against the Chumpzilla. And then we played against the Grass Knuckles. You're right, we are 3 0. No, 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 no. Right. Anyway, I'll just play this now, I guess. Doesn't really matter where, even. Probably better on ground so we have more options for area. I'm probably just gonna play Ladmouth anyway. This is rough. Pretty cool combo, too. So he's doing a lot of damage in the meantime. I think we still just play our game. We'll react to whatever he does. Damage this, evaporate area 22 next turn. Should be a good play. Is he going for his... Oh, please don't... Oh, I thought he was going to play Gloom Shroom. That would have been a lot worse. He da da. So he's getting one shot. Not all that bad. Na -na 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 -na. Optimistically, if this shot goes face. Uh, we'll have pretty good tempo. This lane is a problem now, though, man. What am I going to do? So it's Bungie area, I guess? He's still ramping. We're really in bad shape, this guy's kind of rocking us. We can also bungee evaporate and fruitcake. Fruitcake. Oh, I guess we just bungee fruitcake, not evaporate. I also want to just burn evaporate for a card, eh? especially if it's a mushroom deck. We're not going to have a lot of opportunities. <laughs> It's a little awkward, but I gotta keep my health of my face and my minions up here in order to have a chance to survive. Still rough though with these Astros on the field. See, this doesn't need the binary stars in order to win here. So probably. Fruitcake is probably just better. Still no evaporate, so sad. Wow, he's not playing the strike your minion in lane two? What is he doing? He's throwing! Oh, he has it anyway. He has a very blast. He's BMing us. He's throw well, he would have won here. We have fruitcake anyway. We actually win this game. Unbelievable. He's so afraid of this that he, instead of trying to kill, he should have just gone face with two damage. It's not a good play. Got him though. Oh my gosh. It's funny because, uh, you know, the, yeah, we just didn't have a... You know, we start with the bat. The evaporate really stings, man. And we had Bungie, too, but against a deck where you just don't get a value evaporate. It's like, when do you even play it? You guys really like my singing? I don't consider myself to be a very good singer, but that's just because I compare myself to, like... I watch, like, American Idol... And I see the types of singers that actually make it past the first round. I know if I would go on a show like that, I would not make it past the first round. <laughs> I'm just not, a, I don't have a professional voice. But maybe that's, maybe comparing myself to those people are not, it's not a good idea. I guess back in my Jewish days, I used to sing a lot. And people did like, genuinely like my voice then, so. This hand looks fine. Hey, looks good. I'm not gonna mulligan out wonder this one drop away. No freaking way. So this goes here. Try to avoid playing into lane three. We'll play into ground lanes. And this lane is usually reserved for binary. 
Brady Cat could come in clutch here. Because if he plays, you know, just Snow Pee, we can Lightning Bolt it. And if he plays a trick, this will actually move to a different lane, so... I, 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 I like this. I like this and Lightning Bolt, really. Very much. It punishes him for playing any kind of Freeze card. The ass! Get wrecked, bro! Oh my gosh! So this dies for free now! <laughs> this is the power of Freedy Cat, though, man! I, that didn't make sense. I don't know. You still freeze there, but anyway. So now what? Uh, we can put two threats on the field, which is pretty good. Which ones would it even be? I think I'm just going all in on this. We're playing a little bit into Shrinking Violet, perhaps, next turn, but... Cool Bean would be decent here, because it kills anything, but still, we're going... There's so many threats here, though. I mean, cool, it would be good, but it would be slow. We'll go one and three next turn, and we're good. This is not Slurp, it's just a cup. It's just a cup of reuse. <laughs> there's the... There's the... So the Snow Pea. So we get an extra card here. Ugh, got some late game, love it. This doesn't even die, these traits, and this is still just a round. It's growing. If he doesn't touch it next to this turn, it's going to be a 6-4 he's going to have to deal with. We got a playable one drop, which is so good in this full board here since we can't spam another minion. This guy's kind of screwed. He actually sets that up. We are going to go face... Let's go with this. I'm gonna save it when it's gonna genuinely be useful. Uh, Freddy Cat should punish him in one here, though. So, Halia. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this beast here, man. Oh, two bungees. I don't think we go for the five. It dies a little too easily. It does put a whole nother threat. I think this is better. And then double bungee. We can do whatever we want with that. Snow drop. Not playing any tricks, that's cool. So we bungee this one. That's for certain. And this one. So it just dies on the spot. It's good to me. Get a bungeed face there, actually. Not bad. So blows a 50-50. Freeze would save him. And Biggin doesn't do a damn thing and Super doesn't do a bad thing. He got the 50-50. And he got it. Go! It can go? I don't know. This is a game mechanic that is very strange to me. If he blows, how can it go to lane 4? At the time he played the trick, there was a minion in lane 4. I don't really get it. This reason, Freddy Cat resolves after the trick phase. I don't understand. Uh, I think we go two threats instead of one. So let's do it like this. This is easy card to grow, so we won't even play into that lane. Why not bungee face? I didn't want him clearing my field next turn. We could, I guess if we would have bungeed face, and then he froze one of these on. If he blocks while well, this is alive, so he freezes this, we wouldn't have won then. Honestly, probably holding the bungee plumber was right. Not not even using it to face. Save it for this turn and use it to face this turn would have been optimal. Because then even if he blocks... Well, we did three. No, he had four health. No, I think that was right. Taking out his card that can get him back in the game I think is right there. Since the bungee doesn't necessarily win when it goes face. We bungee face and he gets freeze. We're, we... we we don't have a way to win at that point, when, since this card will still live. He'll still have a automatic removal card on the board. And big in! Uh, that actually moves this, but we still win. G Gs. Hell yeah. I just, I, I feel like there's a lot of times that when something is removed, things cannot interact with that lane. I'm trying to think of exactly what I thought it was Freddy Cat. 
And maybe it matters what lane the trick is played in? That would be very strange, and that wouldn't make sense in this situation either. The Freddy Cat was on the left. It just seems, I, I forget what it is. I think it's Freddy Cat that if you have a full field and you fruitcake something, Freddy Cat grows but does not move. I think so. I'm going to have to get too many toasters to make the game mechanics video. Maybe he has one on that already. I, I'm very actually confused in how that works, and it seems to make a real difference in games. So we go one. Ooh, this hand. I don't know what to do with this hand, actually. Why is everyone Chomzilla today? I think this is a good matchup for us, because we have, like, Bungie's great, really powerful gravestones. Really would like a one or a two here, I guess. I think a one would be ideal with this Bungie. Yes. When a zombie is killed, it's different than when it's bounced. That's the theoretically. Do you know that for a fact, though? I don't know, man. I, it's, it's, it seems really complicated. I'm sure with a little bit of testing, we'll probably figure it out. This is why I like Loudmouth so much more than, let's say, Vitamin Z. Vitamin Z is a useless card on this field. This buffs out. It's a 3-3. We have tempo. We can set up our Quasards now. Really happy to have this in this situation here. We got two one and one. This is a fine, fine play here. Oh, gosh, so much removal. This binary star is gonna be ridiculous. He can't develop anything on this board either, so binary stars comes in with two minions on the field, which is just where we want it to be. Do I play this off curve? I could. It's awfully good to play. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm going for the it's actually less, this would be greedier, but just a little safer here. Let's see if he has any uh, little buddies. He does. So I don't think we can afford to, well, I don't know if we can afford to spend resources on this lane here. Really doesn't like this. We actually, you know, we don't have the answer. I'm going to, we could double bungee one of these so we don't take eight damage next turn. We could single bungee. I'm going to go for single bungee. Just to that we don't lose in this lane. And now these these bungees will actually start doing four damage. So this should be fine. So rock the block. Okay. This is rough because his well no, his super kills the two too. Never mind. This is fine. Applesauce. <laughs> Corn. This is fine. Gosh, the spam though, man. Bruh. So we'll... We're taking eight. Just kill that out, right? Backup wouldn't have been bad either. This actually trades, which is cool. And the opponent's out of cards. I think we're okay here. And can't really deal three damage very easily. We gotta figure out where what lanes we're, we're playing into here. I, I guess we want to put a two attack guy here. So I'm gonna put you... This is the one that dies. Just chump blocks. And we have a uh, card draw. So we'll just spam all four of these now, probably. No way, bro. This is only a four plus. Whee! Goodbye, binary. I don't know if we lightning bolt this. I think this is better, and then we can actually bungee it. Hard to say, though. Maybe I'll just play this next turn. Uh, this lane is going to be killer, too. Maybe proccing the block is really good here. It probably is. That's right. I need to save binary for an OTK turn. So you think I should not have played binary stars there? Damn, uh, I, I played into that. I should not have. That was a mistake. This only does... It's this 10. 5 one, one looks pretty good, though. Nina 
It's like a pretty typical Champsilla Onion Rings deck. He ends up with a really good hand early, too. He's also able to kind of check us in the early game, so. There's nothing we can really do about that. I'll just punch you this one. Uh, don't like our odds. We're kind of even though. We're blocking here. Just use another binary, man. This is the worst card we could have gotten. It's the reason why I really am reluctant to run fruitcake in competitive decks. Look in this situation. Imagine if this had just been a regular removal card, even Cake Explosion, it would have been so much better. Luckily, his card dies. I guess we do this. It just gives him momentum, though, man. This is rough. Oh, should I save this for something big? This is going to do so much damage that we're just going to die. But unfortunately, now he has card advantage. If that had been Cake Explosion, even some stupid card. It could have been anything. It could have been a Disco Knot. It would have been better. And this is not what we needed. Cheese Cutter? Yeah, there's a few things like that. Mustache Waxer is also the same as, like, Middle Manager or something like that. Okay. Imagine blocking! Ugh, okay. There's binary. Play it here, I guess. Still can't play the Quasar. <laughs> Watch play Dragon, exactly. It's a decent pickup. We can do 10 here. We're also blocking, so this Lightning Bolt can kill a 6-6, six, six, you know? And then we have Quasard, which is a come from behind card. It's putting on a lot of heat. So I guess I just kill this one. No, we get evaporate! Worst case scenario! Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Save us, Quasard! We need, we can't, we have to actually get a removal card now. Removal or nothing. Can we please get a removal card? Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, this goes here. We also can actually remove something else and evaporate. I'd love to use this evaporate somehow. Gosh. Oh? I think it's good enough because he's only doing three. This heals. This is the top deck of the century. We're doing we're doing four and eight. It's it, it's exactly lethal, guys. Ridiculous, and it's just so cool. The healing allows us to be, be go face here, which is amazing. Yes, it's guaranteed with the block in here. God, oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, man, fruit cake. Oh, honestly, overrated card, and that's why I learned this in the tournament, man. It was such a liability getting it late in games in a card advantage game. See, like, if you're dominating opponents and you're playing team, you just want to wreck people as fast as possible, and your goal is just winning efficiently and speed, then run Fruitcake. But, again, I'm not saying it's a bad card. I think it's slightly overrated, though. That card is... Using a removal card... Anti-card advantage card is just... It's so bad sometimes, guys. What did he get from it, by the way? I don't even remember. Did he get one of those ketchup mechanics? It's a fruit. Your mom's a fruit! We really need a one drop very badly. Yes. Um I'll I'll do this here. We'll play into spike weed sector. I'd rather this get spike weeded than than the aerobics. Yes! Really interesting though. Okay, <laughs> that makes a little, slightly more sense. So, take out fruitcake and put in regular cake. <sighs> the alien ooze? 
Uh, now what do we do? We could just go for Bungie Lightning Bolt here. I imagine this is the game we gotta evaporate. That would've been cool. We can also go for Loudmouth. Which is pretty good. I'm gonna... Well, I'm just trying to think what we're gonna do next turn. Like, we can play one of these superpowers next turn. Alright, because of that, because of Curve, and having a great play for next turn, I'm gonna go with the Loudmouth. God. So we needed the lightning. I wonder if I do this. There we go. Well, do we want a 3-3 three, three, or do we want this thing? I think we want this thing. It's massive. Because we'll we'll go all in on killing it. We're actually gonna quasar here in double superpower. We'll go all in on killing this. It's two 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 superpowers to kill it. Come on, evaporate! Let's go! <laughs> okay. It's something. Then we have a, you know, a really strong card, obviously. Bro! Anyway, we have to do this. Very sad. So it's turn five now. You got this from... Primal. We have area. So we have two and three. That looks good. God damn it. Okay. He didn't utilize this at all. He's saving it for next turn. Bro. <laughs> this is a card you gotta you'll play it when you're gonna play into the into it next turn, or else it just gets covered, man. Luckily we only had two two brains last turn and capitalize on that. So this tan looks awfully good. Hopefully this fruitcake again. We only We've only done six damage. Hopefully this fruitcake does not come back to bite us, and it really looks like it is. <sighs> I mean, I did remove something here. Goodbye. So we're obviously gonna play this first. Hopefully I get one of these on the ground. Bro, come on! <laughs> okay, well, we'll have this for later. I really needed these to go face. I think I'm just doing this. This card's gonna wreck us otherwise, but we need we're, we're in a rush. We have card disadvantage. The fruitcake is not what we need there. Come on, man. I know we removed a 6-6, six, six. it's nice, but we haven't done enough damage. It's so hard to kill Wall Knight, bro. Binary would go a long way. It's not even turn eight though, so binary is not even that good. It's cheese. Holy crap! <laughs> Bro. Do I even play this? Is doing two more damage to this card worth it? I mean, the next card we play will counter it, sort of, not really. If I top deck a binary stars, being able to set it up here would be really good. Almost necessary for us in winning. There's no other card that can go face in this lane with an area 22. Past no 6 walnut. I think I'm gonna greedily not play. The other consideration is also if he does come in with another environment, we'd like to cover said environment. But yeah, man, that's a 5-7. Oof. Now, he hasn't really developed much, but he has... The two things he needs are just health, survivability, and just cards, man. Like, you know, some people, what card draw are you going to run with Boogaloo? Some people, like, they run unexpected gifts for card draw, you know? Uh, yeah. He just has better cards than me. Maybe we just need more late game? Maybe I'll just get rid of Fruitcake. Maybe I just ditch Fruitcake in this deck. Perhaps it's just not worth it, man. I wonder if I if I can get Evaporate us looking like handy. Which is 
just gonna try to stall. Get rid of Fruitcake and just run Gas Giant or something that will help us close games out. I don't know, man. <sighs> That's so annoying. He's just conjuring, he's not running environments. He's just conjuring them. Evaporate! It's just, <laughs> it's not happening today, guys. Oh, that would have been so good. We would have drawn a card from that, too, man. Come on, man. This is not, this doesn't do anything. You know what? I'm dishing fruitcake from this deck. I, I, it's not. I would almost rather it just be like even a lunchbox or something. I mean, you know, what, what would we run? We could run a card that draws cards. Like maybe Cyborg would be good because it does it does technically draw cards. The other card would be Bounty Hunter. Maybe I'll just run Cyborg. We've had times where we really needed another two. And again, this is it's it's a card you like to get late in games because it it refreshes itself. We could run Gas Giant, but I don't think it really makes sense. We can also run Maniacal Laugh in this deck. Four copies though, that's a lot. I'm gonna run Cyborg. It also just maintains tempo, and again, it's card draw. It technically is card draw. Bye, free cake. Add regular cake? Mm. Too slow. Tempo deck. Gotta have efficient brain usage, and that's... It's not it. It's not that guy. You're not that guy. Regular cake. Non-fruit cake. Omnivore cake. I like it. Overall, just really powerful cards. Really hard to make good trades. I guess. Good news about this, if he doesn't remove it right now, he can't berry blast next turn. It's too it's just rough. <laughs> he can he can spike weed sack there, my two my one drop on turn two. Could do that. Wonder if I should play for I think I well Honestly he can't play Triceratops either way, right? Yeah. Triceratops is a useless garbage here. So instead of going for this, we'll, we'll go for the... It's just better against Berry Blast. Well, then... Instead of playing a 1-drop that dies, this will play a 2-drop that gives us a card. Just slightly better. You can't Berry Blast! You can't do it! Correct. So now what? This one? This looks awfully good. The reactive play, I love it. Reactive on curve minion. Underrated card right here. I guess shout out. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> the, if we just played a good three drop, I don't know what it would be. Just imagine we played a, a, a like a good dry three drop. He would just be able to take advantage of it so hard. Now this is a, this kills a meteor, and it, by the way, this moves and does five damage to your face, idiot. <laughs> Misplay. Big time. It's just area twenty-two and like bungee plumber to face. We're just spam three tricks here. This ain't gonna do a damn, not a damn thing. Shroomies. Bruh. This moves, by the way. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he played the shrimp for two. He didn't know. How would he know? How would he know? <laughs> oh, instant regret. Uh, I think we area here for the it's guaranteed lethal now. 
Yeah, thanks for blocking this. I really appreciate it. Wait! No, it says four health. Well, we can... Well... Well, no, we just do this now. Yeah. It's so beautiful! Die! <laughs> Easy. Look at Cyborg making the, 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 the appearance early. Got a decent and chunk of change in there, man. For your first game, eh? I, I'll take it. We don't even see, you didn't see how good the Freddy Cat was there because he didn't see him spam tricks, but he passed the first two turns of his life because we played Freddy Cat. It's so much value. Love it. That's seven wins. Cyborg is the opposite of Fruitcake. Cyborg is the... I mean, it's not obviously as reliable of a removal card, but it gives you a card when it dies. Fruitcake costs you a card. It gives your opponent a card when it dies. You know, this actually isn't that bad of a hand. I hope we get a good superpower. Now, should I be mulliganing in case we don't get a good superpower? Like, this is a really decent three, but maybe I just need a one or a two here, or a bungee. All right. That's a three. Got a good one, though. Yes! Freddy Cat, another underrated card. You gotta find the right deck for it. Sometimes I'll, I have forced it into decks where it's just not, not correct. But the, kind of like putting it into the deck in a, in, a, in, a, in a deck with a lot of very individually good cards like this one. Like cheap individually good cards. Then this just adds just mayhem. Yes! Since area. Nice setting this up too. Eh. -heh. Bye. It's definitely better than the damage, especially since he can move the Freddy Cat out of it. Now if he plays a trick, he moves it into it. Loudmouth. Definitely take it. Should I save this for the binary? Kinda greedy. Bruh. <laughs> okay. So we have Bungie. Um, I think this is fine. Well, Bungie. Yeah. Bungie for four damage to face, three damage. This procs the block with one, which is what we want. Okay, maybe not. Uh, I don't like playing binary here. Good for you. Still have two tricks to play. Really powerful tricks. Hell yeah. Ah, this deck's, this deck's getting it done. So it has the Law Noir. It's the problem of buffing this card. That's okay. I gotta make a calculation if I should bungee his face here now. If his Chumzilla hits this, his Scorch will do two. If we do two... Skill... Um... I'm gonna save the bungee. Just think the damage. It's like a it's a three damage swing. We can always do the bungee to face later for four or three or anything. Just heal. We're kinda of far away from winning right now anyway. It's 14 health. So we gotta develop the snap. Because he played lawnmower, I'll I'll stick this on heights. I want him not to have a way to remove this next turn. Just heal him. I know, how, how are we playing in this deck with the powerful Gravestone cards? How are we playing in just, just only Chum Cell? I love that this gives us a 5 drop. It's not a great 5 drop, but it's a card. It's a nice, expensive, juicy card. And I love it. 6. We empty this hand. Look how good this is, too, man. 5. One. Lightning bolt. The blocks are not. <laughs> this loud mouth is not helping our block meter at all. I wouldn't mind. Like right now, what are the cards we'd like to top deck? Well, we'd like a five drop, a binary star. Beginning a cyborg is fine. 
<laughs> Still getting ready for impact. This does eight here, man. And the the con man, because he scores, protects this from getting supered. I don't remember if he played super. Well, I didn't. Is this worth it? It's two damage, so we're doing eight, nine, ten. I mean, it does damage. It it already protects on the block against the super. It'll protect next turn to get turn against super though. This is just such a good card though. I don't think the two damage is worth it. This can remove a you know a six health guy. Yeah, man, this is this is kind of Boogaloo at the finest. He keeps that, this two. Uh, and actually, like a minion just to protect this from the, from the super now that he kept. Let's go. Cool. We just need two damage, though, guys. That's all we need. We have lethal in every single lane because we have this lightning bolt now. Unless he heals, you know, he can play like a Astro Barra, but that's, that's not a good play. It gets Lightning Bolted. Then we, the Binary Stars plays around any heal play. A Cornucopia doesn't do a damn thing here. He does have that. That's so harsh, bro. But now he needs to heal. If he doesn't heal, he loses. He's not putting team ups in every single ground lane with three cards possible. Captain Jukecumber. Uh, only one lightning boltable lane, but that's also all we need, man. Get wrecked. Hell yeah, this deck is satisfying, man. Honestly, you know what came in clutch there? Big Borg. Big Borg, absolute clutch. <laughs> we needed that card. Without that card, we don't win. And that makes it eight, so the answer is yes. We'll play one more game. Yes! One more Chompzilla! One more! <laughs> These games are close, but... I think this kind of tempo, Boogaloo, the, the games are, are usually... I mean, you, sometimes you'll just, you'll just get your cheese cutters and everything going, they have no answers, but... I think it does result in a lot of, a lot of really close games. Um, okay. We really want a one against Rose, so it absorbs that superpower. You know, you need a lot of damage. I wonder if this is a, if we keep this hand. We just go one, two, three, and then we have a five already. Then we'll play our superpower on three. This is how we do it. Play around Colonel Pulse. This has to go on ground. I don't care if he has Bog or whatever next to him. Yeah, okay, you're stupid, man. <laughs> this is ramping for one turn. The card in our hands ramps two. Oh my god. <laughs> it ramps more? I could go for this. Oh, it's so much damage. So I'll put this here. It ramps, guys. Look at this. Love to see it. I almost feel silly playing one and one. Maybe I'll just play the cyborg so it's more on curve. I also could have ramped to binary if I save that for four. Probably not worth it. Uh, I'm gonna go here and we'll lightning bolt something. I also could just play this, man. Just for another threat. This might be better than lightning bolt. Nope. Nope, not even close. Okay. Too bad. Right order. I was gonna lightning bolt this and actually keep it on the field if you want to Now the card! He's disrespecting Cheese Cutter. It's an all-out ramp deck, I think is the mindset. So he really needs to ramp. It really, depending on his hand. Honestly, if in certain hands, which he, he did use all of his sun that turn. It could be that really was worth it because of his deck. Okay, so now what? Honestly, this is the card we want to trade here. And then I'll just go face with the expensive cheese cut there because we'll play this together with the binary stars. Going over here. 
It's ramping. Okay. He's all in on this ramp. He doesn't care about card advantage. He's just gonna try to play more late game cards than us. Can we get tricks here? Like, uh, thinking cap would be nice? I guess we have playable cards, though. Ank? Is this turn four or five? It's so hard to tell. Whee! Big Borg! It's four. This hand kind of sucks. I guess we just a ro- oh, that happened. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we do here. Just aerobics, because it's the biggest threat. We can also just cheese. Let's go aerobics. Cheese is free. We'll play next turn for free. See, that's the thing, and he's gonna come back into this game now. Nine health, no block meter. Ugh. Watch him get. He used Weed Wax, so he only has Godify and Mog, and they're both hitting this lane. He'll probably just hold it. Doesn't make sense. Alright, how do we deal with this winter, man? Don't really have a good way of dealing with it. I don't have anything at this 3 damage. We can't really develop anything until we deal with this too. Which is very sad. He has go to fire mob. He has definitely one of those. I could like play Frady Cat and then that will be the, the, the one. But then it dies for free sometimes. I wonder if we just try to get him to go to Mog something here. I I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I don't know. Yes, it's rough. <laughs> miracle! Miracle! It does three damage, kind of. Oh, it's so good. At least we dealt with one of these. But yeah, man, all out ramp into splash and winter melons and stuff, man. Because now we have another one we gotta deal with, and we can't use Big Borg. It's not even an option. We have to basically use binary stars. Which is so sad. We basically have to, right? We don't have a way of protecting binary here. Which sucks. <laughs> this is really rough, guys. Do we need this to win the game? Not necessarily. I don't even know if I... Should I play this? I mean, if he doesn't deal with it... You know what? It trades for a, a more expensive card, which will be good. Yeah, yeah I mean, this is coming in clutch because it kills everything in our deck. This does four. This does four and draws a card, which is cool. And this is a two for one. It's not like, cool. Well, maybe it is the card game. It still has 15 health. Breath. Dragon, at least it hunts. Ugh. I think Dragon should have gone in, uh, should have gone in, in five there. That would have been smart, or at least behind this one. I don't know if he really wants that trade. I'm sure, if that makes sense. So now what? For cake for seven. <laughs> That's too many tricks. We probably do have to free cake so we can utilize the quasar powers. So it's this and seven. God damn it, free cake. It's Carnicopia. 
Honestly, I don't. I, I was criticizing the plays early of not fronting the con man, but it looks. But it looks like it worked out for him. He played Cornucopia and got. Well, at least this dies. Okay. Well, this isn't as bad as it looks. Uh, yes, because we're never going to be able to use Evaporate otherwise. He's still doing 11 damage, though, man. Forget me nuts, come on man. It didn't really matter. It didn't actually matter. So we can bungee this. We're gonna bungee the well. I guess I'll bungee this now. Then I need clones. I think we do we still need cards? I wonder if we need cards. Instead of a 4-3. Oh we have free kick. I'm gonna bungee and use a superpower. Well, bungee is two. Right now in this hand, bungee is two, so I can play two superpowers. Now I can play three. I don't need to play three. Well, maybe I do. Alright, we'll go for the card. Fruit! <laughs> I guess we actually bungee this one. Oh, good fruit cake. Ouch. This. This. And I wish I played aerobics now. <laughs> yeah, if we come back into this, we'll see. Only has two cards, though. But we have a goddamn fruit cake. It's one of our cards. Anti card. I can't avoid getting free cake. I took him out of the deck and I'm still just getting him. That's a card draw though. That's that's huge. Also kills this damn amphibious minion. We're gonna have to free cake the cornucopia. Honestly, we're doing really well here. Some tempo. Fear move something, you know, the clones go in clutch. <sighs> He's just a so much late game! Do I just try to block? Well, we can never kill this if we don't block, so... I'll do this next turn. Heals him. Ugh. Fruit cake. I guess kind of saved us there. We didn't. We wouldn't have had a way to deal with that. So thank you for cake. Not a bad card. Slightly overrated. It has the drawback of the card draws. Pretty bad. He just has all late game cards. Cool deck. So now what? I have to play around removal, so Infinity Clones are a little bit worse here. We probably don't even play them. But he just has all late game! I don't have anything! He wins this! He wins this. He just wins this. This goes up to five with the environment, so that's cool. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Do we even... Well, we have to environment, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't think we have a, a chance in the world of winning. What, what could we possibly get that would win us this game? We got the full block meter. Uh, he's just healing. It'll be at 20 health the rest of this damn game. This might as well go. Yeah, but they all outramp that that primal sunflower I want, man, as I was saying. Looks like he had the right idea. If we block two of these and also block. Oh, now we're done. Uh super. Did we use our super? That doesn't help. Man. Alright, eight and two. I'll call it there. That was a actually for a loss pretty satisfying. So the person, the guy actually. Knew what he was doing, had a game plan going in, and 
Even though we were so far ahead at certain points in the game, his deck was just better suited for a, you know, super late game battle than ours, obviously. But, uh, alright guys. <laughs> ah, man, that last game, that was a really good deck, really great stream, that'll definitely go on YouTube. I think this is the best sort of way to play Tempo Boogaloo too, you know? Play off curve, play reactively. And uh, you'll win most of the time. I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Peace. Let's try.